In the last episode of the Valladolid mode, we managed to get knocked out of the Europa League in the semi-finals by Spurs and we managed to also clinch 6th place finish in the La Liga on the last day and it was a great season from RDT that team scored 29 goals. Also we did give out the season awards, um, uh, RDT did win play of the season and golden ball. Um, also, Tony Villa won golden boot with 17 assists and most improved player goes to Yuna Lopez. Here are the players that go now on loan uh, this season or that left at the end of last season. Gomez, Castro and Moraes all go now on loan. And this is how the team is looking like currently. Um, I want to improve the left back and the center back position. Um, I do have some players in mind. Uh, and maybe if we have extra funds, uh, I would like to get a new attacking midfielder. Maybe an older person since we don't really have that much of a budget. But we'll suss out what we have and I'll see you guys the transfers we do. Uh, here's the transfer budget we have it's about 70 71 million to spend I feel like we can do some damage with that and I'll see you guys at the transfers our first transfer of the new season is going to be Paul Torres from Dortmund we signed him for 39.5 million I tried low bowling them but they're not bugging anymore so we managed to agree on a deal for 39 million we managed to sold uh, Rodrigo Eli to Burnley for I think it was 13 million and also sold Wendell to Arsenal for 16 million. We managed to get a lot for him. I was expecting at least 10 million, but we did try also go for um, when uh, was it Junior Fibro? Yeah, Junior Fibro as a replacement for Wendell. We signed him for 29.9 million. And here's the fixtures going to today's game: Celta Vigo, Valencia, and Hitafe. Our first game of the new season is going to be against Celta Vigo away. As we get the first chance of the game in the 26th minute, Gonzalez will try to cross it, but terrible header from RDT it just goes out of target. As we get another chance after that, at the same time again, it's RDT taking his shot. He should never rush that. He had more time to think about his shot placement, but we move on as they get another good chance. Is Henry going near post, and Henry makes it 1 0 in the 53rd minute. Terrible defending from us, but regardless, a great goal from Henry. We do get another chance in the 61st minute here. Great piece of skills from Alex Vipas to get away from defender, but he tried to cross it, but it's defended really well. Uh, Celta do get a uh, free kick at the edge of the cross, but talk about the save here. Alex Vipas coming out with the save of the season, maybe save of the series. Like, I want to see that in replay. Look at this. Damn, bro. That was going in the top corner, bro, and he just saved the ass. That's, uh, they do get another chance here, uh, 75th minute, but this time is a terrible defender from us, and... Beltran, I think was his name, Beltran makes it 2 in, in the 75th minute. We'll try to get one more chance at the end of the game in the 86th minute. Nice pass to uh, Guedes, I think Guedes makes it 2-1 to give us a consolation goal, but that's how the game is going to end. First day loss to Celta Vigo. Our next game at the episode is going to be against Valencia away. Uh, if Lens, I do get a free kick in the 19th minute. It's Daniel Vaz crossing this. is a great header and we defended really well. As they still have the ball and they we managed to defend that really well. This time RDT managed to get past his man. He tried to finesse shot but it hits the frame of the post this time and the header missing it. As Jeremy Boga with the ball this time. Jeremy Boga, Jeremy Boga managed to get past two plays. Placing a good cross but Tommy Abraham with a great header and he makes it 1-0 in the 35th minute. He was the top scorer last season, I think, Tommy Abram with like 30-something goals, but we do get another chance. He's Gonzalez Guedes against his former side, takes a shot, saved by uh, Jordan Pickford this time. We'll get a chance in the 71st minute this time. is Jota, Jota taking a shot first time, and Jota makes it 1-1 in the 71st minute to make the game all tied as we get another chance after that in the 86th minute. It's the same time again, it's Jota with the ball. It was a great save from, uh, I think, Jordan Pickford as... They get across in the 93rd minute this time. It's a great save by falls to uh, Ramon. Ramon clears it and that's how the game is going to end. We managed to tie a second game against Valencia. Last game at the episode is going to be against Hitafe. For the first time we're back at home. Uh, we do get the first chance at the game here. Nice pass to Lopez to uh, RDT. But RDT this time just not even looking at his shot. It goes wide. As we get another chance after that, it's this time RDT managed to wiggle past his man, try to take a shot, but it's defended really well by Hitafe. As Hitafe do get a good chance here this time, is Amath with the ball. Amath try to 
cross it, but great defending from our captain Joaquim to deny them the opportunity. As we get another chance this time, Inal Lopez with the ball, Inal Lopez to get his greatest for the finesse shot is saved by the goalkeeper. As Hitafi do manage to get a, a, get a chance here, great shot, but it's defended by uh, Pau Torres, the new signing. We will get another chance in the 73rd minute this time. Jota managed to do a phenomenal job to keep himself onside, and Jota makes it. Uh, 1-0 in the 73rd minute as we get another chance here this time RDT passes to Raman. Raman should have taken the shot but it was a wise uh, movement to pass it to RDT and RDT makes it 2 in the 84th minute back into his goal scoring form but we'll get they will get another chance in the 84th minute to get a consolation goal this time it's Amath. Amath makes it 2-1 in the 84th minute. I thought he was offside for a second but that's how the game is going to end. We managed to bounce back from the draw and get a win against him. Here are the top transfers around the world. Uh, um, An Amrik Laporte to Bayern München for 116 million. Uh, Nkunku to Liverpool. Uh, DCL to Man City. That's a good one. Uh, uh, these are the transfers we made in this window. I did uh, sell some players behind the scenes. Uh, of course, Junior Fipo and Bartores and Wendell. Those are some notable ones. And Rodrigo Eli. First time I received this offer, I was really surprised because he's a type of Burnley signing. This, this is the place Burnley like to sign, but. Um, yeah, if you made it this far into the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Yeah.